Hello guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're going to be looking at some amazing geometry node generators that you can use in your own projects and all the links are being provided in the description. This one is by 3dwolf.com and uh, if you go to the links in the chat, you can be able to download this project file with some of these uh, generators. You can see how amazing these looks. So all these downloads are under the CC0 textures. Uh, that means you only need att attribute or yeah, just mention the artist in uh, your work but uh, you can download the content for free and use it in your own projects so here are the files that you're going to get all the generators you can go, you, you're going to get and all you have to do is hit the download button here and it will take you to the mega download or the mega file sharing website where you can download the generators and uh, the, the one thing i noticed about this uh, website is that uh, if you hit download uh, or download all zip files your browser will try and block the download uh, for some reason. I think it's because it's, do it's downloading multiple files. That's the error it was giving me. Oh, that's the information the browser was giving me that uh, the, the website is trying to download multiple files. And uh, these are multiple files, as you can see, uh, especially if you go into the blend file, which will include all the, if you go to the generators folder, which includes all the blend files that are necessary for this uh, uh, download this amount profile so the browser tends to give an error or block the download so make sure that uh, the browser is not blocking the download by clicking i think an icon would pop up will pop up here just click on it and allow the download i haven't really found any issues with the download so the download i think is safe so yeah just make sure that uh, the browser the br your browser is not blocking the download uh, so that you can download the generators yourself uh, otherwise if you download one by one uh, i found that uh, there are no issues but uh, these are several file so you might need to download it as a zip file uh, otherwise it's going to take you a lot of time and uh, it won't be as organized as the creator intended it, intended it intended it to to be so after you download the project you get a zip file uh, just you only need, all you need to do is extract it and you'll have something like this and uh, inside of that folder you have the generators which will include all the blend file textures and the icons uh, that the asset browser uses uh, to as thumbnails in your uh, in your in blender so then you we have textures and then the blend file so to to have these imported into your blend file all you have to do is open up your blend file and uh, go on a file go and edit preferences and uh, on a file path create a new asset library by just clicking uh, the plus icon uh, navigate to your downloads generators and uh, inside inside the second generator folder where you have uh, this uh, blend bless blend assets.cats uh text file this is a file that blender recognizes as an asset asset browser file so that it can list all the uh, generators into your asset browser uh when you add it as a library so just make sure you, you are inside that folder and i think to verify you can just uh turn on the text file so you can see that uh, you are inside that file uh so now just hit accept and that will create a new uh, generators asset browser but uh, since I, i've since i've already created that library i've just closed that out and uh, now if i go to the asset browser i can go to the generators library and i can see all my generators so if you want to see the the file as the artist intended it you just have to go so let's try this musical visualizer all you have to do is just right click on the blend file and then open blend file and that will take you to the blend file that the artist has already prepared uh, for you you can see this one comes with also uh, with a python script i think uh, uh, this links to the music um if you want to change that and change because this is a visualizer visualizing music uh, you need an audio file if you have an audio file just select a path and paste it here and that select a path let me see if i have some music here so say something like this i can just uh, go to properties security and just copy this path if you're using windows um copy and then just replace this but uh since this is python you have python you have to escape this uh instead of using this you you, you need to change these to other uh, forward double slash uh, like that otherwise you're going to get an error so if we now after that you can hit run and uh, it will pause for a bit and uh do the calculations and run you should be able to hear the music play and uh, follow the the visualizer so now you can see what we have 
I'm not sure if you can hear the music, but it follows, it plays with the, with the visualizer. Pause again, just, you need to replace this path with uh, your own path. Uh, make sure that uh, you, you change the backslash to forward, to forward slashes. Otherwise uh, you're going to have a, an error with your script. Uh, so that's, that's how you, you can play with that. Uh, let's look at uh, another generator here. Go to the file, open uh, the IV generator here. Okay, look at this. This looks uh, super amazing. And uh, when you move objects, uh, the IV generator updates uh, like that. And uh, you can also add objects. Uh, so like the Suzanne head. And uh, if you wanted to interact with uh, the IV, you just have to add it to the target. Uh, so that is part of the target and then now you have uh, that IV like that So yeah, you can change the seed. Uh, by the way another trick if you want to say Bring this directly into a, print, a blend file you, you want to use it won't work uh, Because this is a geometry nodes a uh, group uh, so to make it work you have to have an object say a mesh and that will depend, uh, the object you add will depend on the type of uh, generator you're using. So this is an IV generator. I think it's going to be a mesh. So uh, just then after you have to select the object and add, go to geometry nodes and add a new geometry nodes uh, tree, and then drag the generator directly into the, node, the geometry nodes. You can see this is a node group. Uh, so it will only work within the geometry nodes context. Uh, so you can draw, drag and drop that and you see that uh, we have an, our IV, connect that, and uh, we have that. Uh, it, you can see it's asking for a target uh, collection. So we need to have a target collection. So I'll move this into a collection, uh, call it collection two, and uh, then select this, select our cube and then select our target as collection two. And now you can see now that uh, that is working. You can duplicate this and uh, basically we have uh, the same setup as we did. Uh, you have the expose parameters in the node group here. You can change the street, uh, the seed, change the amount, change everything. Uh, basically do something like that, which is amazing. Uh, then, or, or if you want to make your life easier, just open the blend file, the original bl blend file, copy everything, control C, and I just paste it in a new blend file directly uh, so that uh, everything works as intended and uh, you don't have to go uh, through the, the entire process of connecting the nodes and uh, you, you also have these nodes exposed. But uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, you can also just drag this directly into your library, into your geometry nodes. So for example, if I have a cube here, uh, create a new geometry nodes and uh, bring in these particles. If I preview this, you can see we have uh, those flying particles, which I think look nice. So that's one way to do it. But uh, I think the the way the artist might have intended it to be used is just to right click, open blend file, and uh, copy from this blend file, and then paste it in the blend file you're using, uh, because that blend file will have everything prepared. Uh, you also have these parameters exposed, which you won't be able to have if you just use, uh, if you drag this into the uh, geometry nodes option. So let's see, well, do we have that? So I can just copy this and paste it directly in here. I uh, can see how things are working, which is quite nice. Particles. Okay, thank you for watching. Again, all links are provided in the description.